Hey, it's Jose here, and I'm super excited because today I have a great resource to share with you, and it's only the best mind mapping software on the planet. And get this, it's free. Okay, so this is a tool that I've been using for years now. It's one of my favorite all-time tools. This is how I do most of my brainstorming, my planning. It's so quick, it's so easy to use, and it's so intuitive, you're gonna love it. Now, this is the website, and the tool is actually called XMind. And you can see on the website that it says the most popular mind mapping tool on the planet. I think I said the best mind mapping software on the planet, but you know what, for me it is, because it's free and it's awesome. Now, they do have some paid plans, and I think those are mostly aimed at corporates because there's all kinds of team sharing and all that kind of thing. And you'll notice that on the page, they have huge clients, global companies. So as I said, I've been using the free version all these years and it does way more than I need it to do. So let me show you how I actually use this tool and, um, and you'll see why I'm so excited. Okay, so this is what the tool looks like when it loads up. And let me mention, by the way, that there is a Mac version and there is a Windows version. So whatever you're using, you're covered. I'm not sure about Linux, but at least Windows and Mac are covered. Okay, so these are gorgeous templates that you can use to get started. There's also a templates uh, tab there that you can toggle, and there's a lot of things there. Now. To be honest, I don't use any of these, although you could easily spend a day just playing with all these. But let's just click on blank and let's just click on this one. So I'm just going to click on this one. Now, I have to say that I haven't actually seen this before. <laughs> They've obviously updated the software and there's, there's a lot of templates here. And you're getting all this for free, by the way. So I'm just going to go with the usual one, the professional one. When I say the usual one, it's the usual one that I use. I just go for the, the simple one. This is the one that I go for. But you've seen in those templates that you've got all kinds of templates with different colors to make them really snazzy. Because the thing with this software is that you can actually export this to PDF or to a graphic. And if you have a client or somebody that you need to share something with, you can create a gorgeous mind map and then send them that. If you're creating a course and you have a list of subscribers, you could use this software, mind map all the steps that they need to do for whatever the course is about, and just create a really nice graphic or a really nice presentation. And you can even create lead magnets that people can download if you have a blog and you get subscribers that way. This can be a great lead magnet creation software. So for that, I would look at the templates and really make it look snazzy and have the design pop. But as I say, I only use probably 10% of what this thing can do. And I just use it for brainstorming and I find it super easy. So what I do is I, let's say for example, I click on this and I'm gonna call this today. So this is today's plan. Okay, so I use the keyboard keys uh, for shortcuts. It will take you five minutes to just sit down and figure out all the key shortcuts. Uh, you'll find all that information on the on the software anyway. And yeah, from there on, it will just make life so much easier. So for example, I'm gonna click on the tab and you can see that what's happened there is that I've created a branch. Okay, so I'm gonna call this AM. Now I'm gonna click on enter and watch what happens. What it does is it creates a new branch there. So I'm going to call that PM and then I'm going to click enter again. I'm going to call that uh, evening. OK, so I've just created three branches there really quickly. Bear in mind that I'm talking as I'm doing this. So I'm going to use my navigation keys now. That's the arrows on the right hand side of your keyboard just to go to the AM. And again, I'm going to hit the tab key. That's the one above the shift. Yeah, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to do uh, task oh, that says task task one. Then I'm going to click enter task two. Then I'm going to click enter again task three. OK, now here I'm going to do the same task one, enter task two. Now, let's say that task one there I'm going to do. Let me just I, I'm actually going faster than I'm speaking. So what I did there, I was on task two. 
I then pressed the up key on my navigation to go back to task one and I then hit the tab key here to create another subtopic so I can do that here I can do that there as well okay so you can see how you can very quickly brainstorm and the good thing about this is that when you're planning your day or when you're planning a project or you want to put together a course again these branches here could be module one module two module three and then you can quickly create all these steps well you know very well that when you're thinking you're thinking too fast to actually write when you have to type out what you're thinking then that's just a hindrance because you're three four five thoughts ahead uh, by the time you finish the sentence and of course by the time you're doing the second sentence you're now 10 thoughts ahead so this enables you to try and keep up to speed with your own brain as you brainstorm these thoughts okay so let me show you some really cool stuff here now depending on what mood i'm in i suppose i like to change the structure so if i right click on this i'm going to go to structure here and i'm going to go for look at all these different structures here okay and you'll see what these are in a minute sometimes i go for this structure it makes more sense to me sometimes to do this kind of thing this could be the week by the way and this could be monday tuesday wednesday uh, i'm just going to click enter the thursday friday i'm not going to start changing the the, the writing everyone else because it's just going to be a pain in the butt um but yeah so if i click if I, i'm on thursday now and you see that if i click on tab you'll see that what it does is it branches down now because I've changed the structure of this. So if I hit tab again, it branches down again. If I hit enter, it branches out that way and that way. So if I hit my navigation key up and then I hit enter, I make another subtopic on the Thursday. And then if I hit tab, it branches down. You see now you'll notice these um, icons here and stuff you have. These are called markers. So if I just um, bring that up you'll see that you've got loads of different markers and i use these because you can very quickly create a massive mind map with branches everywhere so what i do i have a simple system if something is urgent i just click and drag a flag there and then i can very quickly visualize or rather i very quickly see what is urgent and what isn't and if i'm waiting on something then i use a blue flag so for example, if I've emailed a support email or a support ticket to something, usually some software that I'm using because I need to fix something or something isn't working as it should be, and I'm now waiting on that, then I just put a blue flag and that helps keep things organized. I also use these a lot. I really like these. For example, let's say um, Friday. I tell you what, let's change the structure again. Let's just go crazy here. Let's go to the okay let's go back to the logic chart again so let's say that you're creating a course do you know what? i like the other structure but let's not waste time <laughs> so let's say that this is module one and then module two module three you know you can use this as well for creating chapters if you're planning an ebook you can just plan the entire structure here if you're planning a webinar you can map it out here if you're planning a presentation you can map it out here it's just brilliant i use it for brainstorming ideas but you can also use it to create structures for anything you want so as i was saying i'm going to go to task one and i'm going to click on this thing here and this just means that i haven't started this and then task two and then task three okay now if i get started on something let's say task one is i don't know get a logo design and i'm halfway through that then i might just um in fact if i'm almost complete <laughs> i might just do that and then you get all these really snazzy icons uh, it just makes things look good but it also helps you present things better and there's a ton of things you can do let's say for example just give bear with me one second while i change the structure because it just looks nicer when i do it this way okay one of the things that you can do here well, one of the many things is I'm going to right click on this and go to insert and I'm going to go to relationship. OK, now you see that I've got an arrow here. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to click on this subtopic two, and then I'm going to manipulate the arrow. So it's out of the way like this. And in this relationship box, I can actually 
type in what this relationship is. Uh, let's say, for example, design. OK, so now you can see that you can really do wonders with this software and it's free. OK, and there's a lot more you can do. For example, let's just highlight those two. In fact, no, let's let's highlight those two boxes there. Right click on that and let's make a boundary around those two boxes because those two boxes are going to be two tasks that are related and important. And we just want to create a boundary around that. Yeah, making sense. And you can double click on the screen here and have a floating topic. If it's not actually related to that, let's say this is hosting. This is a new hosting that you want to try out. So you're going to do that there and you want to get all these tasks done. And when you do those tasks, I'm going to insert a relationship there. And then I'm going to go here and let me just get that arrow out of the way. OK, so I could do something like this. OK, so if I was planning out my day, I might want to get on with these tasks first. And then when I get to this task, then go and get some hosting. Although I wouldn't do it this way. I would just make a new box there called hosting and that would be one of my tasks. But there's no right or wrong way of doing this. OK. And as I say, the cool thing is you can map out almost anything. You can insert links, hyperlinks to other websites. For example, if you need to check something out and that's one of your tasks, then you can insert the link there. And when you come to that task, you click on it and it launches a browser and it takes you to the page that you wanted to check out for that task. You can insert images, audio, just about anything. And you can save this, of course, as a XMind project, or as I said earlier, you can export this to a number of formats. I usually export it to image. I can't actually remember with a PDF. No, I see. You need to be on the pro subscription to do it as a PDF. But what I do, and here's a tip, I export it as an image. Then if you open up, let's say a Google document, you can insert that image in there, embed the image and then save that as a PDF. <laughs> OK, so there you go. So there it is. Mind mapping software. Absolutely solid. I've been using this for close to 10 years now, and this tool just gets better and better. And as I say, it's free. And once you start playing with it, you will never, ever need another mind mapping tool. It's brilliant. I've had something like five or six different computers since I first came across this software and I always make sure that I install it when I get a new computer because it's one of my essential tools. So just to remind you, the website is xmind.net. But if you just type xmind in Google, then I think you'll just find the website. So go get it, play around with it, and I think you'll love it. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're super happy, happy enough to subscribe to the channel, which will make me even happier. And that way you can keep up to date with all these cool resources that I'm going to be dishing out one by one. OK, take it easy and I'll see you in the next video.